Okay, so, um, what's the time now? It's quarter past six, so I woke up at half five, made tea, but I'm just now going properly. Um, I'm really ill, and that uh, is how I feel, and I only have PG Tips tea with no milk. Oh my god, my life's ruined. And here is the setup. So, basically, what I want to do today is I want to go out. Well, it's still dark, so that's why I've got a light there. Um, and I just want to walk around and chat, but also take some photos when the sunrise comes up, or even when it just starts to get light. So I'm going to need this camera, and I want to keep switching between. And I do have bought this like crappy £15 cheap GoPro thing. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, the light on the top is obviously the light I made, you've seen that. Um, and if you haven't, it's basically pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's a couple of phone batteries and then with a dimple potentiometer switch and uh, a few LED strips in there and yeah it works really well. But uh, So that's what I'll be filming it on. It does say 1080p, uh, claims it's 1080p, uh, not sure whether it is but it's it works so sorry for the crap footage but it'll only be on my face. I'll overlay some photos over it. Um, what well, whenever I take a photo and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's and it should be much lighter to put on a gorilla pod than this camera. Uh, the gorilla pods on this camera at the moment, but yeah. So things are coming along nicely. And if you haven't seen the tour of this thing, then I'll link it up here because it's pretty ace. And the burn's going nicely. In fact, I'm boiling now. I need to close it off. If you want to see inside. We're going well. So this video is a bit of a random video just because I felt like making it and going out and going for a walk and taking some pictures and then I thought why not record it. Uh, so that's what this is um, and I'm just going to do a bit of a talk as well. But the thing is I can't actually see where I'm going. I believe I did just preview back because I've already filmed this because I forgot my camera batteries. Uh, I was filming my chin so I hope that's a bit better. So I know the audio is probably crap and I've seen the quality and it is crap. Uh, the audio is probably going to be really bad because the light on the top doesn't help. Uh, the lens isn't that wide because it's not like an actual GoPro. Um, yeah, I don't know what to compliment about this camera. But my camera's here, I could use it. But I've lost the little adapter I have to, for the hot shoe to the tripod mount, which is on the light. Um, I literally had it yesterday morning and put it down somewhere. It will show up probably. I walked on the past once and quite early in the morning. And I went past our boats. Uh, which is, um, I don't know what way. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's up the canal. Because you go up the locks. So... I think I'll do that again because I remember the sunrise being quite nice around one of those bends. I'm probably going to be walking for about an hour. Still, haven't done this in a while. I used to do it, but obviously winter and stuff. So yeah. Okay guys, so two-handed recording now because I've given up all hope on that crappy little thing. Because I just previewed some back and yet again you still can't see any of my face because it's not in frame and when it is it's really crap quality and it's just I'm just not happy with it uh, what I really do want but it's bloody expensive and you know I'm all about my van things now this channel uh, is the Panasonic G85 because uh, it's it's incredible and I'll just have that as my 
uh, video camera and then this uh, Canon EOS 1300D as my photography camera because I do love this camera it's just not amazing for video uh, but obviously it's loads better than that crappy little GoPro um, but yeah I've got two hands at the moment because like I said I can't find the little mount that uses the uh, that goes on the hot shoe on the camera uh, so I'm having to use two hands uh, I tried looking in this bag just now but can't find it so yeah <coughs> anyway I can see it's like glimmer in the clouds over there uh, of light so sunrise will be soon or at least sunlight for the sunrise though it looks like the moon actually because it's like a cool white light anyway like I said I'll keep you updated okay so I've changed my mind now I'm going to talk about the thing I was going to talk about earlier I'm going to talk about that now because um, on the way back I'm probably going to be busy taking pictures uh, so basically uh, plans are um, so you obviously all know about <laughs> let's call it a van addiction um, uh, so I'm planning to get the van by the end of this year well, well no but, uh, it, I could get it mid this year after I finish my exams which will be very ambitious but be very very nice I can get started already or I get it next spring because I need to get it just before the summer or in the summer but not at the end because I want to paint the outside first uh, then attach like roof racks and ladders and stuff so it's all like on top of the paintwork and then I'll do the insulation because obviously roof racks and stuff want to go in before the insulation so yeah so I need all summer to paint it because yeah it needs to be summer to paint just trying to concentrate not to walk in the canal that's why I'm kind of distracted um, <laughs> so yeah so my arms getting really tired but uh, that's the plan I'm planning to spend no more than a grand and a half on a van and I'll spend as much as it needs and as much time as it needs on the van conversion itself but obviously I don't want a rust bucket van but I, you know what van I want the Aveco daily long wheelbase high top just had to swap hands because it got really tired um, so yeah so that's the plan is to get one of them um, there's a few there's a good few there was a, there was a really nice red one I think it went for about 1700 because yes I'm looking already um, but yeah I think it went for about 1700 and it already had a burner in and I've decided I now want a burner in it uh, after one the wagon that I'm staying in now has got burner and it's so lovely and also Ash has now put one in his and I just think it's a really nice feature to have I haven't got rid of anything to add I've just shortened one of the sofas and put it there uh, if you haven't seen my any of my plans or anything or drawings uh, follow me on Instagram the link will be in the description but it's uh, at max van life uh, m a x z and then van life no hyphens or anything like that just simple max van life and also if you haven't checked it out already I've got a whole shop and everything to do with that and everything so you can help support me so I can I'm not genuinely not spending any money on anything at the moment uh, I'm literally just saving it uh, well I am spending it on investing in the stuff I'm selling obviously so for some things I need some wood and stuff and I'm selling it on that there's a nice photo there I'm just to stand here I'm investing on that but then it earns me more back so your money won't go to anything crap it will be saved up for the van itself so yeah it's just to support me uh, get the money for the van conversion the van um, so yeah much appreciated you can't really see that on here because the shutter speed is not slow enough see if I can do this that that's the moon I'll put the photo over it now to make it loads better but oh my god the photo doesn't even give it anything nice that's just mental yeah you can kind of see it now the cloud on the top and the bottom oh and there's nothing else around it ah oh, so nice um so yeah so that's my plan uh for the next couple of years is to basically yeah just convert a van over two or something years and then ensure myself to drive it it's gonna be it's gonna be a good adventure so if you're not subscribed, subscribe and click the bell because that will much help me and like the video now. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to having the van obviously and uh, all, all help donations. I'm going to put a cheap 
cheaper option because I understand 15 and 20 pounds plus postage is quite expensive for some people. Um, so I'm going to make a thing for a, literally a pound 50 including postage um, that will just be for the people who just want to support me a bit but don't have much money or don't want to spend much money uh, on someone like me. <laughs> uh, so yeah. It would just be like a little queuing thing with pyrography. I'll try and make them as nice as possible um, and try and get them done maybe this weekend. Take some photos and upload them onto the website. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back in a bit then when the sun rises. It rises over there, but as you can see, there's absolutely no sign of it. So, see you in a bit. This is quite amusing to watch. I'm just sat on the towpath now waiting for the sunrise. But you can see these two horses are literally chasing each other. It's like they're playing tag. They were literally just circling around, one was chasing the other. Typical, you get the camera and then they just start like, standing there. But yeah, turns out horses don't just stand in a field and eat grass all day. They do have a bit of fun too. Also, moon's gone, was over there when I sat down. And it's still no sunrise. I'm disappointed. If there's no sunrise, I'm going to be very disappointed. At least I got the pictures of the moon though. Sunrise is supposed to be in about 10-15 minutes, so, yeah, I mean it's very light though, that's the thing, as you can tell, so I'm just wondering where the hell the orange is. <laughs> anyway, I might start walking back. Almost back. As you can see, there's no sunrise still. It's promising. Yeah, oh well, I got those pictures of the moon, so I guess it was worth it. So yeah, that's why I take the sunrise pictures, so that's also sunrise. But there's not much sunrise going on there. And then down here, there's also another little wagon there. Um, and then there's this cool house here. Turf roof. And if you haven't seen Chris Harbour, watch him. Because he's basically built the same thing as that. Like turf roof roundhouse. Uh, you can't even see it because like, it's so well disguised. Um, but if, if you haven't seen Chris Harbour, go watch him. I'll put his link in the description to his channel. Um, so you can easily find it so you know if it will be the first line because believe me He's so inspirational for me because I also he's in Wales and uh, after like I don't know Five to ten years of living in the van. I might want a set location It's always a nice thing and obviously I don't want it to be anywhere boring So I'd like to do similar to him I have an off-grid land in Wales. I do like Wales like Imagine being completely sustainable, growing your own crops, having your own water supply, having your own power, and like the only thing you've got to pay for is gas, but you don't even have to do that because you've got burners and stuff, so you don't even really have to do that in the summer. Like, that would be so cool, and you own the land, so no one can kick you off. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Whole area for the van, nice workshop, a shower, probably, all completely off grid and everything own collected water. Depends on the land how I do that, but yeah, I'll get in first and then talk a bit more. Okay, so now I'm back. Um, yeah, that was fun. I'm sure it was really boring for you to watch. You probably clicked away in the first 10 seconds, so it's pointless even saying this, but um, yeah, I mean, if you did reach this point, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, I just felt like making a video and Stay tuned because I've got more van stuff coming. I'm thinking of doing a van tour, but I want the van to be painted by then. My mum's van I'm on about. So yeah, a bit of a random video. If you enjoyed it, um, uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. And yeah, uh, hit the subscribe button too. And the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video next Wednesday. <laughs>